Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot Readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Thelma. That is very sweet. Not sure I can do the whole show with you. I was always blessed. Relief fell for so many. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And I hope that, that you have, a, no matter how long you can stay, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, I am here literally 365 days of the year to take your 12 political questions at 12. I don't do uh, personal readings, I'm afraid, uh, either here or in private. Uh, this is this is pretty much what I do, how I do. Uh, the only, the closest thing eh, is uh, this Saturday night. It's that time again for long-suffering patrons. Uh, we're to this Saturday night is our monthly uh, patron-only social, uh, tarot social, where we get together and basically read on anything but politics. And it's usually quite silly and funny. And we ended up talking about spirituality and the universe and uh, all kind of fun stuff and and old movie stars and you name it, we talk about it. So anyway, that is a Saturday night at eight o'clock. But for you, I'm here and I have gathered your uh, 12 questions. They are in the description box right now. I will timestamp them as I go along. And then afterward I go in and I clean up the, the, the wording, make sure I actually covered the, I actually, I actually take it from all uppercase to, to regular, uh, regular typing and uh, make sure that they, they match what I actually read on. And so, uh, yeah, this takes some time. <laughs> uh, Floating Lotus Women's Wellness, hello. You're in my favorite colors. Oh, good. Oh, good, good. Wonderful. I, I am glad to hear that. All right. 10% uh, of all income that comes into the channel goes to feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. Uh, do do we have epic troll slayers? Thank you, thank you. And uh, uh, in, on Beauty Corner in in uh, Black and Orange neighborhood, uh, two things. One, I have lipstick on my fingers, which is not good. But anyway, uh, today's nails. Oops, do, do. Yeah, so today's nails are kind of fun. And um, I let my hair dry naturally. This is actually my, this is my natural hair. So um, I have very fine hair, but I have been blessed with a lot of it. And I am grateful for that every single day. So this is, this is on natural. So it's usually a bit more, uh, it's a bit more, more kink in it, but yeah, this is it. So. Uh, let's see. Do I want to get this out of my way at the moment or we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So I'm, um, thank you guys. All right. So for now, this put this where we normally do. And yeah, I'll leave it as is for now, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, Deb is saying, I have a lot of hair. It's nice until it sheds. I hear you on that. I'm very grateful. I'm very great, and I'm very grateful for you. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but you have no idea how grateful I am for you and for you being here. So thank you. All right, let's do some reading, shall we? Let me pull out ye old deco cards. Um, I am. Thank you, Cicerino. Thank you. I am working on, well, I, I tried not, to, I, I almost got sidetracked, which I try not to do. Um, but I almost got sidetracked. But what the, I created out of that was um, there may be a, uh, I might be able to put out my first bit of merch here in well, relatively soon. I'll get a copy myself. There are a couple of different tarot decks I want to make. One, the one I'm working on right now is a is a simple Rider weight Christmas deck. And I really need to get my skates on with that. And get, get that going. Um, but there's also one I was... Um, 
I don't know if I can come up with a full 78 ideas, but I, I think I might have a chance, but I'm going to have to wait until next year to work on it. Maybe until January or what have you. It is what is what I call, what I'm going to call, at least currently, I'm calling the Cute Kitty Tarot Deck. And in the meantime, I have put together four of the cards I have made and I'm make, turning them into a graphic that I will hopefully be able to go on things like mugs and whatnot. So, um, I, I was working on that yesterday. So I will put that together and I will get a, um, I'll buy a mug and uh, I should probably buy a mug from different companies and see which one I think is the best quality. Because you know me, I don't, I don't, you know, it's got to be good quality. I've got that, that uh, Scorpio moon, which is all the emotional intensity, but it's in, it's in that sixth house, that sixth Virgo house of uh, craftsperson, persnickety, detail oriented, uh, quality must be quality stuff. So. I'll do that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to show you, but we'll see what we'll see what we come up with. Okay, we are about seven minutes in, and we are going to start now. Um, Mandy, I think your questions was it a con did, did YouTube cut things off already? Was because it, it says question C O N apostrophe T Tina supposedly leaked to QAnon and is wanted by the FBI. Is that a I don't understand. I'm sorry. Is it Tina asked a question and this is the continued from that question? Continued C O N apostrophe T is usually continued, but I don't know. The only Tina I know off the top of my head is Tina Fey, and I don't think she would leak anything to QAnon. And the FBI, I'm sure, would love to have her as a speaker, but that's about it. So, do let me know. Oh, Teresa, anticipation, kitty mug. Yes, I'm being silent. Not good when you're on screen, but um, I was working on the colors last night. But basically, it's going to be something sort of coming coming in 2022 from black and orange. going to be something like that. That's the graphic for the four, four of the cards I made. So I did not draw these kitties. I'm not, I cannot take credit for that, but I did put this, I, I have been putting these together and organizing them and uh, that sort of thing. So anyway, coming in 2022, but sooner than that, that would be the graphic that would be available on mugs and T-shirts or whatever people want. Anyway. Oh, Pamela, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pamela. Happy birthday to you. You guys are so Mandy's saying yes. I got I got cut off. Okay, so what was the uh, now that I'm, I'm I'm looking at the chat, Mandy? What was the the question? Leaking to the leaking the QAnon wanted by the FBI. Who 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 was that? Floating letters. So we all sang along. Excellent. Oh, 
so good. Good, good. I'm glad you guys like the Kitty Project. Uh, Mandy Mar, look up. I, I, I would have to go. Uh, I can look up, but it'd be a lot easier if you just posted it again. I'm sorry. It's, it's hard for me to actually search through. I mean, I'm trying. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Information, voter info, and Kahlo. Pillow man is harboring her from the FBI. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this. Um, Teresa saying Tina is the my pillow guy's safe house woman, hiding her from the FBI. She helped Q. There's a pillow guy's safe house woman. I am so lost. I'm so lost. Okay. Mike Lindell. Safe house? I, I don't... It looks like these results are changing quickly. If this topic is new, it can sometimes take time for results to be added by reliable sources. Okay, so this is the first time I have ever seen this from Google. So I'm going to share it because this is this is bizarre. I have never seen this from Google. At the top of the results, look at this. It looks like these results are changing quickly. I have never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Tina is wanted by the FBI for leaking passwords of the voting machines. It was news. She lives in Colorado. Okay, so hi, she's hiding a pro. Mike Lindell is hiding a pro-Trump election official in uh, some kind of safe house, and he has admitted to hiding a GOP official facing the FBI probe. I didn't Colorado the clerk who leaked the data. Okay, so that's where we're going. All right. Um, he said he was worried about her safety. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm just going to grab all of this. I'm just going to grab all of that and just uh, sort it through later. Sort through what to put in the description box later. But right now I'm just going to paste it all in if it'll fit. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, it didn't like that at all. Okay. Take just a minute. Put this together. Oh, this is three days ago from Business Insider. Mike Lindell told Vice he's hiding a pro Trump election official in a safe. Tina Peters is her name. Okay. And that he was worried about her safety. I get it now. It's been a few days. I don't know how I completely missed this one, but I did. Sorry. So we're starting at 14, 15. Let's just say 15. Let's try 15 minutes in. Actually, I'll just take this out and put this here. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. So what's going to go on with Tina Peters? Tina Peters. Okay. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you. All right, Tina Peters. Allegedly leaked 
passwords to voting machines. Hey, yay. So what did you do today? Oh, I leaked passwords to voting machines. Why would you do that? Tina Peters, what's gonna to happen to Tina Peters? Her energy is quite sturdy. She made a legal decision. Oh yes, she did. Oh yes, she did. That, that was definitely a legal decision. Nine of Pentacles. These people, they, they think they are so above and better than. Page of Wands, a message of the far right. And also passwords. Uh, she's in hiding. Legally silent. King of Cups. And Star. She thinks she's a star uh, because of um, going to, to reveal, somehow it's going to be revealed that, that Biden isn't the true president and the earth is flat and water is no longer wet. Water was never wet. Never. So that's the... Um, Oh, my dragon, I'm sorry. I've got my questions for today. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I did, 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 did. Okay, well, that's where she is. Now, what's going to happen to this lovely specimen of humanity? <sighs> Tina Peters, come on down. You are the next slime bag in destroying democracy. Da, 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 da. Wheel of Fortune, you s spins the wheel and you takes your chance. Who will your vote land on? Will the person you voted for actually win? Let's mess up the system so that uh, you can have whomever you want. As long as you're Republican. Yeesh. Uh, six of pentacles, seven of cups. This is not good. <laughs> Legally hemmed in. There's a big old death card, and there is. Uh, oh, it's it's. It, she's just going to be in trouble, and it's not going to lead to anything because this is the death. This is she's legally hemmed in, and this is uh, sort of the Trump base. All that and the death card sitting right between the end of it. It's like the end of the road. End of the road for all this nonsense, all these lies. Using it as a front to raise money, the fraud it. It's absolute lies, but she will be hemmed in. And uh, this is this is not just being in hiding. This is actually the law getting hold of her. And uh, nail in the coffin. They're going to get her. They're going to find her, and she's going to be in trouble. That's what I'm getting. Hey, boy, boy. Did it do a lot of damage? I mean, is she really in trouble? Cherry. Oh, yeah, they're coming for her. Yep. And of course, if Lindell, if he's hiding her in Colorado, why would he say so? The whole point of hiding is that nobody knows. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the point? Two of Wands, Five of Swords, Knight of Wands. Oh, they've got, they're still, they are just so delusional. 
they are so in this this land of insult to injury we're going to get them we've got the far right message we're going to be the far right warriors we're going to Uh, Ma'am, this is the FBI. Please open the door. So what about Lindell? Three cards. Is Lindell going to... Uh, is Genius going to be in trouble? Destruction of Justice, anyone? Oh, yeah. Floating Lotus. No one's nominating Lindell for a Nobel Prize in politics. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think Mensa's got anything to worry about there. Yeeks. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Paula. All right, Lindell, are you gonna get into trouble? Destructive justice. Crimes against stupidity. Oh, he's going to take action for the far right. He's got, he's the warrior. He's the, he's going to be the fighter. Mandy's saying, I'm glad I didn't lie to the FBI. Yeah. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Moon card. This is him. I am, I am the moneyed, quote unquote, I am the moneyed, a Republican fighter for the, see, I'm the center, I'm the center. They're delusional. This is what's coming. These are investigators. This is the moon. This is chaos. This is howling at the moon. This is the mess you're going to end up in. This is how you're going to end up feeling. But right now, these people, let's just, let's just say that where they are currently keeping their heads they won't need sunglasses it's just say it like that all right moving on at 23 we're moving on to i probably want this question okay is that right 23, Polly Wanda, I love, I, I, Polly Wanda has a question. I'm so, I just, I just instantly look forward to it. Just, I look forward to all your questions, but Paul, you, you know, Polly Wanda, we love, we love how she thinks. Okay. Should we prepare for a massive AI interference at the next elections? Altered videos, altered voices, altered everything. How will we know what to believe? We'll ask about who's the next Walter Cronkite or Rachel or whatnot. We'll, we'll, um, we'll look at that. Uh, later, but let's let's or so, uh, on another day. But definitely, massive computer interference in the next elections. Altered videos, altered voice. Do we need to worry about that? Altered video, altered voice. I'm sorry, Rita. I've got my questions for today. I'm sorry, but I'm here literally every single day of the year. You can put your questions in, in the, the, it's first come, first serve. I start looking at about 10 or 15 minutes before the live stream. So just put your questions in all caps in the chat. Uh, be, just before the live stream and I will, I will uh, just fill up the discussion box until I have at least 12. Polly Wanda, how do I know I'm not a bot? Well, none of us do really. For a while, the people were talking. The scientists, scientists were talking about the holographic, the idea that we might be living in a holographic universe. We could, we could, we start talking about funky physics, and uh, ooh, that's quite the rabbit hole. But right now, should we prepare? Twenty-four thirty. Should we prepare for? Because it is almost inevitable that we're going to start getting fake videos, altered voices. All that kind of stuff. Election interference using doctored stuff. Eight of wands. Well, we know that the 
the far right, they're going to try everything. And, and scruples, ethics, ethics, schmethics. We know that. Oh, thank you. Why not? Linda's saying, I always say this earth plane is a movie. Thank you. Five of Cups. Uh, okay, five of Cups, High Priestess. King of Swords. Six of Swords. Two of Cups. Well, it will be a problem for a while, especially since it's so hard for people to go out in person. Um, this is disappointment because of secrets. So there probably there may be some of that. This disappointment created by fake stuff. But this is law enforcement. This is also uh, people who are extremely knowledgeable about computers is what this feels like. And it's right at the center. It probably coming from the, the attacks would probably be coming from overseas. There's going to be enough in person stuff going on that Things that are that there are not a bunch of witnesses for will will be taken with more of a grain of salt, but it's um, it's people who are not tech savvy who are most likely to just fall for it hook line and sinker. So. Joanne says, I work in marketing and holographic virtual salespeople in stores is on the horizon. I believe it. Ten of Pentacles. Card for the reading. What was right beneath it? I have an idea what this might mean, but let me see if the rest of the cards are saying the same thing before I go there. Empress, Devil, Queen of Cups. Oh, this isn't the Devil, that's Hades. Hello, Hades. Uh, nine of Wands, Four of Cups. Pluto Return. America's having their Pluto return. That's what this is referring to. But Democrats are in, are in charge currently. The, and the, um, the Republicans are going to be obstinate or have been obstinate. The far right is going to be feeling very beaten up because what this feels like is what I've been picking up, which is this, the 2022 midterm elections are going to be very much defined by the news cycles because there, this year there are going to be charges and next year there are going to be court cases. And it's just gonna keep going. And people are going to start focusing on voting more for people who are going to be not problematic. People who are going to make government boring again. If you don't have a criminal record, if you're not lying to people's faces, um, if you're just not being super emotional and you lay off the histrionics and people are going to want, they're going to vote calm, calmer, calmer. I mean, obviously there are places where they, they like their representatives feisty as possible, but I think in general, People are tired of it and they're going to get even more and more tired of it. We're kind of in a lull right now. I mean, I was thinking earlier today, it's like, just, you know, everybody just relax a little bit right now. Just rest up. You know, um, last night I was working more on, on organizing my basement, um, my part of the basement and, uh, you know, just, just, you know, get ready, start, Thinking about what you want to do this winter. Think about think about Christmas. Think about Halloween. You know, I'm debating 
what I want my Halloween costume to be because, you know, I, I, I dress up here and on Halloween and Christmas is coming and what do you want to do with that? And, you know, just live your life, take a breath. You know, it's very warm outside. Some people like that. I don't know how, but some people like that. If you like that, you know, go, go get some vitamin D and relax because things are going to start ramping up with news and charges and court cases and that's coming uh committee meetings and all that's coming so all right we are at 31 31 let me move this stuff up this is interesting love your questions guys uh white dragon what will the u.s look like after trump is gone and forgotten how about that what will the u.s look like after trump is gone and forgotten oh lovely halcyon days halcyon days of no trump Where he is forgotten. What do the US look like? Donald Trump. Forgot. White Dragon saying, ramping up, how much worse can it get? Oh no, I mean like news cycles and actual charges and on and on and I mean there's right now the news is quiet six of swords after some people go to prison ace of wands queen of cups six of cups two of cups king of swords democrats trying to move toward the, the whole, I've, I've talked about it, uh, there's a book called The Pendulum, and it talks about the the history, the, there are these, we swing as a society, we swing back and forth between what, what this uh, author called the me and we. In the 80s, we were prime me time. Me, 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 greed is good, you, you know, the individual, and then we swing uh, and to the we side, we're in this together, communal, let's work together, um, that sort of thing. So uh, 40, you know, every 40, 50 years, we, we, we swing. And we are swinging back toward the we at the moment, the we side of things, and the communal side of things, Democrats working together, partnership, uh, trying new things, trying new things to save the environment. Uh, Democrats in charge of the government. And this is the, in the past, one of the reasons why Democrats gain or gain so much power here is because they they tried the whole authoritarian thing. They tried to overturn the, the election and those people are gonna be facing prosecutors and, and beyond. They, they went to jail, this is the bookends. They tried it they were stopped. And so the country is, is trying new things. Uh, it, you know, it's new technologies, new environmental pushes, uh, all kinds of stuff. There's, there's so much, you know, once the, the orange menace is completely gone, the news is, you know, not going to stop. It's just going to change topics because we always have our challenges. What I call progress problems. Sometimes prog progress problems are the problems you have only because you're actually making progress, usually toward your goal is how I use it. For example, I wanna, I'm want i gonna you know, work on my novel, but I need a current copy. So I'm gonna go print that out. My printer's not working. So I lose two hours trying to get the printer working. 
that's a progress problem. I wouldn't be doing that. I wouldn't be dealing with that problem if I wasn't making progress. Well, sometimes progress problems are, you know, sometimes they're not actually progress problem. Trump is not a progress problem. He's just a problem. But um, there can be all kinds of progress problems with new technology and, and environment, you know, coming up with answers for environmental issues and floating lotus transitions are never easy, but we can ride the wave and not be swept away. Exactly. I, I just talk my head off and then you, you come along so beautifully and just sum it all up so nicely. Okay. We are at 36. Igor Fruman, Janelle is asking about. So at 36. Igor Fruman is pleading guilty tomorrow. Will he spill the beans and give up Rudy Giuliani? Igor. Pleading guilty. Pleading guilty, huh? which probably means he has flipped on somebody. This rat, Porsche, Natasha. But first, moose and squirrel. Do, 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 do. Igor. Have you flipped like a pancake? Stomach's upset. Stomach upset. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Is this the right thing? I'm not, you know, is this what I should be doing? Should I not be doing this? What if I do the wrong thing? Katie, I lost it. Moose and squirrel. Thank you. Uh, Michael saying Lev is next. Could be. Um, are they feeling left out in the cold? Because if they're feeling left out in the cold, they, yeah, it, it, he's, he's, he's going to flip like a pancake if he feels like he's out in the cold. Because right now, Giuliani's having huge um, financial problems and Trump is blowing him off. So that's the thing. Thank heaven. Thank you. Thank the divine. Thank you. Thank you, God, for stupid criminals. <laughs> um, these people, if Trump had half a brain, he would not have thrown Cohen to the wolves. He would not be throwing these people to the wolves. He'd be saying, you know what? Here, let me give you money. And they would be loyal to him. But he's Trump. So he's not. So they're turning on. Let's see what the cards have to say. Uh, Seven of Wands. So he's feeling on the defensive. But he knows Trump's a bully. He's very worried. There's a Strength card in the middle. There's a Queen of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands. He was being promised some things. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'm being promised. Kind of a stay strong, but he's very much out in the cold. Chalk is cheap. Hello, Barbara. Linda's saying, I just hope they all stay stupid now and in the future. We need less melodramas. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Pam. Glad you like the nails. So, Igor. <clears throat> Igor Furman. Going to be flipping on Rudy and whatnot. <sighs> Stomach upset. I'm serious. I feel like I should be like pulling out the, the tums. I mean, just 
Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Is this the right? Because he has to make a decision. And he's talked about having made a decision, but tomorrow we'll be actually having to go through with it. So Page of Pentacles. He's small fry. In the in the in the schemes we're talking about, he is small fry. All right, what do we got here? Electro, those dishes in the background. Oh yes, I'm sorry. I can close that. Is it here? I'll I'll close the Sorry about that. Okay. So anyway, he's small fry. Uh, nine of Swords. I don't think that helped any, but eh, we're trying. Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. That's a lot of worry. Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Does he have family? Does he have family? Because I think they'd want to, um, this is a happy family and this is working, but this feels like Exposed. There's so much worry on this side. I mean, there's so much worry on this side. Sleepless nights, fear, 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 a lot of fear. Working what he did. Exposing what he did, I think. Because there's too much fear here. This would be just continuing to work for the Republicans, except I've got super fear over here and I've got... Um, a happier family, a um, happier Democrats, too, here. Linda's saying he's scared of Putin and his mercenaries. Well, who isn't? <laughs> Luckily, we don't, we don't need to be, but yeesh. Oh, thank you, Dave. Uh, I think he's, I think he's giving information. If, if, feels like he, but he's so nervous he's so nervous so so nervous hanged man i'm i'm a dead man once i he's like once i i say i'm going to work with them i'm a dead man that's what he's not literally but Moon chaos, fool. It was a fool to get involved in this. The theft, but they've got him dead to rights. Stick a fork in him. He's a pancake, and he just flipped. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Troll Patrol. Thank you, our Troll Slayers. Epic Troll Slayers. Thank you. Okay, we're at 44. Oh, Floating Lotus wants us to look at Senator Feinstein. It's 44, yes. Okay. So, uh, will California Senator Feinstein retire before the recall vote so Newsom can replace her and keep the Senate majority? When is the recall? I thought it was like next month. I, I keep getting he's going to survive the recall, but let's have a look. Is basically, um, is Newsom going to replace Feinstein? Linda's saying he's worried they'll hurt his family. That makes sense, but... He's so, he's so um, torn. Very, anyway, that was Igor Fruman, but we're moving on to Feinstein. Okay. September 14th. Thank you, Rita. 
and Holly and Pam. Thank you. All right, so at 45, say 50. Do, 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 do. Senator Feinstein. Is Newsom going to replace Senator Feinstein? It feels like she should leave. It feels like she should retire. It really does. I'm I'm not someone who's like, well, you reach a certain age, you need to no, but it just it feels like she really needs to go home. Go home. Seriously. I'm gonna look at this. Then I'm gonna ask, why doesn't she step down? Three of Cups. It's a democratic celebration. Okay. The world. And end of the chapter, end of the book. Grandkids. Does she have grandkids? Empress. She's led a full life and Ace of Cups, somebody new. Three of Wands. The far right waiting for their ship to come in. But they're also not looking. The cards are saying her stepping down and someone new coming in. Floating Lotus says she has great grandkids. She's 88. Okay, thank you. Four of Swords, legal silence, judicial, not judicial, um, in silence and in, in no, no longer making laws. Devil, Six of Swords, Five of Swords. She's hurting. Physically, she's hurting. But I don't think her health's very good, which isn't really a stretch for an 88-year-old woman or 88-year-old person. But this is not good. This is, you'll, you'll live longer if you take care of yourself. And she's not taking care of herself. Let me have a, um, let me have a look. Why doesn't Feinstein... I'm going to add this in at 40, 49-ish. Why doesn't Einstein step down? Floating Lisa, says she's so tired but still invested in being in the seat. Katie's point about Strom Thurmond. He was well over, he was in office, he was well over 100 years old. Oh, gosh. Have a great day, Sherry. Why doesn't Feinstein step down? Feels like it could be just three cards, but I'm going to pull five. Feinstein step down. Kind of a vigor. She feels like she's still vigorous. She can still contribute. It's wrapped up in her identity. Yeah, she she's this is her identity. Four of Pentacles, Justice, Four of Cups, 
Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. She she wants to be around for the big fireworks against Trump and what have you, but it's an excuse and it feels it feels like an excuse. Her identity is wrapped up in not being a former senator, but being currently being a senator. And once you've got that, once it's literally tied to your, not literally, once it's figuratively tied to your sense of identity, it, how can you give it up? This is just all the stuff she wants to, to be there for. But it, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like that's the real reason. If she was forced to step down, she would feel bereft. She would feel like she had been cast aside on a personal level. Lecter saying without, she feels like nothing. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Pamela. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Identity or ego? I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Let's move on to Nancy had a question. I've looked at this before, but um, it's been a while. Nancy was asking, does uh, the orange menace have a particular illness that begins with the letter S. First three letters, S, Y, P. Wait, Trump, where are you? You know, they were talking about how he was booed the other night for saying the telling people to get the vaccines. I listened, I heard a few boos, but I didn't hear, it wasn't like when he went to the that ball game and the whole stadium was booing him. It was just a smattering of people in the audience. I think he, he was able to blow that off pretty, pretty well, of course he wasn't, not at first. At first it hurt his real feelings because his entire ego is, you know, size of a pea. It was made of blown glass. But it didn't see it didn't sound that bad to me. But anyway. Trump. So have you got the SYP? Long term SYP. Ace of Pentacles. Six, sorry, Eight of Cups. High Priestess. Nine of Swords. He's been treated for stuff. And do you have a known disease of that nature. And don't ever say, I don't care about you or your questions because I'm reading on this. question is the the energy of the man's nether regions knight of pentacles um he actually has seen some doctors who are actual doctors in his lifetime not recently sun card strength five of Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Moon. He's been able to get some shots. He suggested that women 
certain women get shots over the years. Um, I don't know if it's specifically that illness. There's a little bit of residual stuff, but there are also things that is, is it, is it seriously affecting his mental health? Mental, well, it includes physical health. But is it seriously affecting his, okay, energy straight off the, the energy shifted at that, straight off the top of the deck. Linda, his heart and his gut may be affecting his brain. Hanged man. Okay. Four of wands. Knight of swords. Seven of cups. King of wands. He's, he, uh, okay, here's the thing. There are some people saying that he's going to use some kind of defense on legal matters, some kind of dementia or illness or something. I don't know if his narcissism will allow that for very long. I mean, they may allow it to a point, but he'd have to really play that part. And Manafort, well, Manafort lies like a, like a rug. Manafort lies like the most expensive rug he can possibly be. Um, but Trump showing weakness. Carrying on that, the man carrying on that kind of lie. Not showing strength. Oh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. He's He's fine to, to just lie. Oh, I didn't, I didn't bring my glasses. Oh, I can't read that. I didn't bring my glasses. Oh gosh. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a melted toddler here, just rolling around on the floor. I can't possibly help you with any of your questions. He can do that garbage all day, but actual go down legally is mentally impaired, physically impaired for long term because it would have to be on and on and on and on. I don't know if he can do it. I really don't. So let me see if there's anything way more information. Devil. Well he is one. Oh Kali is dog sitting at the moment. Um, I hope that I hope that puppy's okay. Um, hang on. Teresa's saying he was fine with bone spurs. That's different. He didn't have to walk around funny. He didn't have to. He didn't have to look um, impaired. He didn't have to pretend he was impaired in any real like mentally impaired. He'd have to pretend he's mentally impaired. Strength, tower, ten of wands, burden. The the people that coming he he has to stay strong, but the people coming against him are strong. This is the fall of Trump org, and then this is all of the stuff he did while in office, and this is what's coming, and he's. I don't think he can, he can pull, I, I don't think he can live with a dementia def defense or an illness defense. I, I really, I don't, I don't think his narcissism knows bounds at this point. So Michael Grant is saying non-campus mentis is hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. M. Kelpie saying, Mary Trump says his ego won't let him. I'm with her. Deba says, I had a bone spur. Doctor gave me some stretches to do, and presto, it was gone. Doxy Mom says, he's okay with claiming whatever he needs to, as long as he does not appear weak. Exactly. Exactly. 
All right. All right, we're one hour in, and we have a question from Thalma. All right, one hour in. Can you look on the health of our first ladies, Vice President Kamala Harris, First Lady Jill Biden? Paula is asking, relates to number seven, is Kamala Harris ill? Let's look at Kamala Harris. We'll start with her. Then we'll look at, at Jill Biden. Kamala Harris, how you doing? She's a little busy. Kamala Harris. doing? How's your health? How's your mom and dad? All this is they say she's suffering from a mystery illness. Everything she's doing is being scrutinized. Scrutinized with a great big magnifying glass. Moon. Justice. Star, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. She feels fine. Um, I'll get some more clarification on this, but this is how dare this woman be put in a position of power. She, some of it might be, um, some of it might be people like with Hillary. She's so weak woman in power. But uh, yeah, she's she's not a weak person in any any sense. And she's VP. And she's VP. <laughs> Let's see what this this ace of, of pentacles has to do. Is that um, does she have some kind of mystery illness? Where is Do you have some kind of mystery illness? Politicians are politicians, but boy, I'd rather read on her energy than so many of these other people. Oh my gosh. Five of swords, insult to injury. She's being, she's being attacked. 10 of swords. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Death Card, Three of Cups. Um, I think a lot of these rumors are being started by the right. That's, that's what I'm getting. I agree, Linda Kingsley saying Afghanistan is making all the White House and around it tired. There's that too. But this is, we are the Republicans, we're going to bring her down. She's a weak little woman this is beyond her capabilities we're gonna we're gonna end her but no no it ends with she she and biden have some successes and she's a good vice president i'm i'm you know, maybe there's something she has that she's keeping quiet but i'm not seeing anything that would affect her or take her down katie's saying she's been traveling so much i bet her jet lag is out of this world true I agree with that. So, um, and I, I think a lot of this is coming from the right. And she's being scrutinized. She's probably being, her health is probably being scrutinized uh, for weakness more than Biden's is. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, so Jill Biden at, let's say 105. There we go. Dr. Jill Biden, how are you doing? Now she has good energy. She 
he's a good person. Here you do one. Who was the idiot who said that she shouldn't use her title? It's only a doctorate in education, so she shouldn't use her title. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Sit down. I, I, she loves her husband. He loves her. Oh. <laughs> this is nice. Ace of Pentacles. She she gets mad at the Republicans. They're always attacking her husband. All right, seven of wands, page of pentacles, nine of cups, king of swords, queen of wands. She's she's fine. She's okay. She has her little aches and pains and health problems, but no, nothing serious. And um, mostly, she's just trying to keep. She's trying to create an a, a calm. She's trying to. There's just all this stuff it's always happening. This person's doing this. This person's doing that. This person's saying that. Da, 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 da. I just on and on and on. And she's just, you know. It's, it's like, um, I don't know, like maybe because it's the merchant with the table here. It reminds me of like, you know, in murder mysteries on TV, they always have one episode where they're at a film studio, which is basically a cheap way to do an episode because they've got the cameras and the lights and all this stuff already. And there's always the, you know, the craft table with all the food and everything. And it's the one place you can go where everything looks nice and everything's laid out and, and people can chat or people can, um, it's like a little, little safety of carbs. Uh, it's a little, little oasis of carbs. She's, she's, she's the creator of the oasis. And that's, that's what she's, she's working on. There's just, just a whole lot of drama going around and yeah. Katie's saying, so both ladies are just tired of keeping things afloat. Yeah. Floating Lotus Jill is the calm center of Joe's world. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that was nice. That was lovely. Oh, wow. I read on someone and it doesn't feel like they, they just took time off my lifespan. Okay. 108. Uh, Whitmer. Governor Whitmer. 10830. Uh, Lola was asking, will Whitmer win governor again in 2022? Will the Michigan House and Senate go blue? Okay. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you. Thank you. Um, governor Whitmer. She's up for re-election in 2022. I honestly, I, I can't keep it straight. Who's up when? Are you going to win re-election? Governor Whitmer. Governor Whitmer. Insult to injury. <laughs> they tried. Plus with um, weapons. Like showing up at the state capitol with machine guns or whatever those things were. Ooh. Whitmer, devil. Ten of swords. They've gone after her. Three of pentacles, still going after her. Tower, fool. She'd be a fool to wade back into this mess. But she might be, she might feel it's too important to go. Let me 
double check on this. Will she be foolish, foolish enough to try to stay governor? Wasn't there some talk about how she might actually want to step down after this term just for a family or something? I can't remember. going to win re-election. World end, but it's also a woman very large in charge. Let's see here. Strength, three of pentacles, tower. This is, this is uh, the illness. This is usually the end of a chapter, end of, but it, it's, it feels like it's related to the strength card. She's strong. They're fighting. It, um, I'm getting watch the COVID numbers. The, the worse the COVID numbers get, the, the um, or if they don't recover very well, or it, she'll stay if she's needed. She'll stay if it's to save lives. <laughs> World card again. Maybe she will leave. Page of Pentacles, two of wands, nine of wands. I don't think the energy settled yet. I think that's part of it. I, I don't think she's she's fully decided because I just keep getting this and I'm getting I'm getting a very strong double meaning out of this. This is a card of endings, but I'm getting a woman strong, larger than life, making decisions about who everybody else is, whether their chapters are going to end, whether their books are going to end because of the, the illness and whatnot. So we're going to have to wait on that, I'm afraid. So uh, then the question of what, 113 was about Michigan. Will the Michigan House and the Senate go blue? Okay. Mandy Singh is a Michi Michiganian. I say keep her if she so chooses. Okay. All right, Michigan, state of the Mitten State. Are you going to go bleu? Democratic. Republicans were not good to you at all. Yeah, four of pentacles. Republicans, they, 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 um, oh man, they took over. They took over and they got rid of, of democratic local, more de local leaders. They, they, they've just done so much damage. They, they wouldn't allow money to go out except to their people. Ace of Wands, Judgment, Knight of Wands, High Priestess, Hierophant. Oh, there's some there's some fighting back and forth, but there's Judgment. This feels like her, higher wisdom of the institution against these yahoos, far right what yahoos. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting clear energy on this, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just not getting a, any kind of clear energy on, on Michigan. Sorry. 
We'll try again. We'll try again sometime. All right, 115. Uh, Jennifer had a question. Was Trump's deal with the Taliban a surrender? I don't know if that's, but let's see. Trump's deal with the Taliban. Let's just say, let's just read on Trump's deal with the Taliban. We know Stephen Miller uh, basically threw the uh, uh, wrench in the works uh, so that the the people we would rescue from Afghanistan couldn't come here, or there's just this huge long um, wait. That man, I don't, I, mm, his karma bill. Stephen Miller's karma bill is epic. Epic. Trump's deal with the Taliban. Feels like three cards. Trump's deal with the Taliban. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. It was not much. Doxy's saying the reflection in your screen makes your eyes look deep blue like you might be from Arrakis. <laughs> Very cool. Your eyes are, are green. A little bit of brown in the middle. Floating Lotus Miller's karma bill is longer than a CVS receipt. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. Trump just wanting to look big. Military. Send a right wing message. It feels about that thin. The whole thing feels about that thin. I think like a lot of Trump stuff, it was just incompetent. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Democrats are in charge now. He, he definitely wanted to leave a mess because, you know, he, he did the three month ceasefire and it's like, yes, dump everything on next. Uh, if Biden wins, dump everything on his um, plate. Although had he already won by that point? I can't remember. Four of swords, six of swords, ace of swords. Let a lot of um, people who are languishing in prison, let a lot of their fighters out. Fighters go back and fight. There wasn't much there. It wasn't well thought through. It, it wasn't part of a bigger plan. It was more of a um, puff up Trump's ego and Pompeo's ego. And eh. not a lot there, energetically. So we are at 119 and a bit. Where did um, bum, bum, Paula? I'm not sure that that Paula, hang on, let me. Um, Sandy had a question. I wanted to make sure I, I, I definitely get to 119.30. 119.30. Can you read again on Afghanistan? Feels like a powder keg coming soon. Okay, I'm going to open this door back up. There we go. Yeah, get more light, but also um, better air circulation. I move this over. There, that's better. So at one twenty. Afghanistan feels like a powder keg. 
Oh my gosh, see Torino, I like things spicy. I'm a Scorpio. Ah, fellow Scorpio. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear what Biden said? I heard the second hand. I don't know if it's if it's true. I think it is. A parent now what I was told was a um an a reporter uh Biden was about to you know get on the helicopter or the plane or whatever and the, the a reporter said do all uh, you know, President Biden do all Democrats believe in defunding the police or just some of them and Biden said do all Republicans believe that Democrats drink the blood of children or just some of them and he turned around and walked away He doesn't pull out that Scorpio tail very often, but when he does, whew. Deb is saying so many of us Scorpios. Generally speaking, if it, the people you feel most comfortable around, you're gonna, uh, you're going to, uh, um, astrologically, how it's going to be compatible. So yeah, if, you know, when I'm around fans of such and such a person. If I happen to know their their astrology, ask around in the group and it'll be like, yep, those things, these particular, and then this fans of this people predominantly have this kind of thing and yeah. mic drop. Yes, Gary, that was a mic drop. That was awesome. So. That was pretty awesome. All right, 120, actually this is 122 now. Afghanistan. Is it a powder keg coming soon in Afghanistan? Tower, that's not good. Well, that might just be the worry. It's just the card for the reading. So let's see what the other cards say. Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, Star, Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles. These cards aren't that bad. People doing various things. Let me, did I, did I, let me make sure I didn't suck up too much of that energy about Biden. Um, 120, let's say 123.30. I'll try again. Just want to make sure I've, I've actually got Afghanistan energy. All right. Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Afghanistan. So it's gonna be powder keg, civil war, or just horrendous crackdowns and fighting and huge mess in Afghanistan. Feels like there's a honeymoon period. Temperance. There's a honeymoon period. as it were, sort of. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Death card, Six of Swords, Five of Cups. To be honest, for all this political stuff going on, this is pandemic. This is the pandemic moving through. This isn't, this isn't war, this is death. And these are the cards I keep getting. I wish I had better news. The, the pe people do not need, people don't need a pandemic anywhere. People don't need, need this kind of deadly illness anywhere, but I just keep getting 
Afghanistan and other places in the world is going to get hit really hard with the illness. <sighs> Apparently there's, there is some, <clears throat> there's starting to be some people fighting back. And, 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 uh, King of Swords. Somebody, um, someone corrupt making a lot of money from vaccines or letting, will I let these vaccines through? Empress, Judgment, Ten of Cups. Women having more power than they did, which isn't, it doesn't say much about you know, the Taliban, but it's there's a rise of women's power and, and by rise, I mean, considering the Taliban had them at zero and wants them back at zero, uh, but it's, it's not going away. It's also sitting, sitting there and just won't go away. It's also the women who end up taking care of the sick, sick kids, sick family members. Hello, Tara. Um, I'm getting all kinds of stuff about illness. Oh man, Dave's saying South Korea gave the vaccine to the to North Korea, and they didn't even say thank you. Did they? Okay. Um, Paula was asking, "What's the safest country from COVID?" I don't know that. That's. I don't know that. I, I don't think I'm going to read on that one today, to be honest. I don't. Yeah, I, I um, maybe we could look at it tomorrow. But I, I just, it doesn't, like, we just looked at this and. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm getting an empty room feeling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hopefully tomorrow or the day after. Uh, we'll be able to read on that. I'm sorry, Paula. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. Okay. Uh, final uh, question from Phi. Uh, 128. I wonder what Nixon or Reagan think of today's Republican Party. I think Truman would be appalled. Yes, I think I absolutely think Truman would be appalled. But let's look at Nixon and Reagan. I'll do three for Nixon and three for Reagan. Okay. Nixon and Reagan. What do you think about the current Republican Party? Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. For what it's worth, on the other side, they're friends. No, no hard feelings. Three for Nixon. Three for Reagan. What do you think about the Republican Party in 2020, 2021, that sort of thing? Card for the reading. Tell card, anybody? Nixon, what do you think about the current Republican Party? Oh, have a great day, Google piece. Four of Pentacles, two of Wands, Emperor. Morally bankrupt. And this is coming from Nixon. He's also had time to evolve on the other side, but even he's, uh, oh no, he's, he's actually quite upset. Uh, what compared to what he did, and he knows he did wrong, but compared to what he did 
what he did was in comparison what he did was no this is so much worse and this far right far 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 right uh, authoritarianism he is appalled by because he was an institutionalist matter of fact both of these guys were ultimately they believed in the institutions as trump only believes in himself but morally ethically bankrupt and um again this 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 appalls him this um idea of authoritarianism the idea of of getting rid of overturning elections all right reagan see i only knew reagan when he was older i didn't really see the the movies when um he was younger but uh he's reverted back to a younger vis visage 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 I don't know. I, I, it's one of the words I've seen a hundred times, but I, I've seen a thousand times, but I can't remember how to pronounce it. Insult to injury. What do you think about the Republican Party? Visage. I think. Anyway. Uh, it's morning in America. Um, he does not like the people on the far left. He's actually very worried about that. Um, but he actually is coming down farther on the right on this than Nixon. And there are people who, but there are people on both sides who should, should have been arrested, should be arrested, uh, protesters here and there on here in Yon uh, should have been arrested. Um, the insurrection should never have happened. Uh, he, he's got he's got an authoritarian streak, but he just believes he'd be he's better at it, which scarily enough he would be. Wow, who would have thought? That's what they think. All right, so a message for us, just a quick little message for us, because we haven't done that in a while, 133. Oh yeah, Truman, no question. Truman has good energy, actually. message for us. There we go. 133. Okay, message for us. Patience. Getting patience is what I'm hearing. Patience. That's the message. In stretch, relax, get things done get your cleaning done, get those projects done you've been putting off because there's stuff coming, political stuff. And this is, this is a, this is a quieter time. Queen of Cups. <laughs> thank you for voting a Democrat. Thank you for voting for Democrats. Thank you. Thank Pandemic is around, stealing lives. Make smarter choices. Make smart choices. Not smarter, but make smart choices. Don't take risks. Page of Pentacles. Although it can be hard to <clears throat> get other people, certainly of the more right-wing persuasion, they, they don't want to listen. They don't want to get vaccinated. They don't, they don't, they don't. To some extent, there's nothing you can do. I mean, if you've said something, you've said something. There's nothing you can do. You can't. You can't make them. Um, give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. You've made the right decision. 
and you've made the right decision for you and your family, that's all you have control over. If they're going to make bad decisions, that's on them. And as sad as it is, as awful as it is, you just have to say, as awful it is to say, you know, the, the old expression that didn't mean much before, it's your funeral. Now, it could literally be, but we can't, we don't control other people. So that's the thing to remember. Just do, do the best you can. Make smart choices. Uh, do wear your mask. Do wear gloves. Do wipe things down. Uh, be, be sensible. And uh, let, let fate take care of what some people have decided is their, it's their decision. So, all right, it's not on you and don't feel any guilt. All right, that's going to do it for me for today. Thank you so much for being here. And I do apologize again, Paula, that I did not read your question for today. I always feel bad when I don't read your question, but I'm really getting this empty room feeling. Sorry. But anyway, I will be back tomorrow. I'm here 365 days of the year. And I'm grateful you are here on every time you are a part of it. Thank you. Thank you to our troll slayers. And uh, in two hours, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel. So the, the, the world needs some creative energy from you. The world needs your creative energy. So in two hours, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel. We do four 25-minute uh, just time blocks where we work on our creative projects. Bring your creative project, doesn't matter what it is, and uh, just a way to carve some time out of your day to, to bring some, express yourself and bring creative energy into the world and all this kind of fun stuff. But other than that, I will be back tomorrow at noon, like I am every single day of the year, and Saturday night for long-suffering patrons. It is our monthly uh, tarot social, where we talk about eh, pretty much everything but politics. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.